guys, welcome back to the channel. Now today we're taking a look at EVGA's new GTX 1080 for the win 2. Now this has got some massive improvements with the new ICX uh, thermal technology. They've completely redesigned all of the cooling, so let's uh, get this installed and take a deeper look. So here we go, for the win 2. Now essentially this is still a GTX 1080 but they had a few thermal issues with the ACX model. So this is the new ICX thermal design. So on the face of it, it actually looks the same, but it's all the stuff behind the scenes that's gonna make a true difference uh, on this new card. Also on the top, they've added a row of LEDs to give you a color indication and set up different profiles to give you feedback sort of on the fly. If you're able to see your card in the corner of your eye, you're able to give, give it a quick glance, uh, but we'll go through that a little bit later. There's a whole new back plate. They've redesigned it, given it a bit more airflow, and uh, obviously the, the thermal backing on the plate as well has been distributed in different sectors. So does all of this thermal management make a difference? Well, yes, it makes a huge difference. Under high, high temperatures, you know, is you're going to get thermal throttling, it's going to cause a problem and things were so bad with the ACX that some even nearly caught fire. Okay, so don't forget, I've got this installed in an open air test bench. So it's not quite real world results because I don't have any fans blowing onto the card like you normally would in a day to day case. So the test bench today is running an i7-7700K on the new Z270 Maximus board. It's got 16 gigabyte of Corsair Dominator RAM and it should be up to the task. Like I said, the temps are going to be slightly higher in this, obviously because there's no airflow going around the system, it's all open air. So you can see you've got the LEDs on the side here, which can all be programmed in the Precision OC software. Uh, so basically if, if you're overheating in a certain area or a certain thing that you want to pr preset it can give you a visual output and you can choose exactly what color you want you know so obviously red to prime example but overheating so you can have a quick glance if you've got a window or your case is open and you'll be able to get that feedback straight away. I'm going to be checking out all the stats with EVGA's own precision OC software which is linked to the, uh, the For The Win 2 card, so it knows exactly what's going on all of the time and can monitor all nine sen sensors at the same time and give you live feedback. The two fans on the side are actually independent. One's for the VRM and one's for the GPU. You can get them to work together, but let the management sort it out and they'll work independently and change speeds automatically. So the idle temps were around the mid 30s, we saw just over 70 under load and doing the benchmarking. Uh, 70 might sound high, but these things are rated for nearly 120. So 70 is pretty good, it's a vast improvement over the previous and the cooling, you, you can really feel it. If you've got your case open and you put your hand next to the next to the card, you can feel it pumping out the side all of the hot air. So the distribution is massively improved. Games I decided to benchmark were Ashes of the Singularity, GTA 5, and I did a couple of 3D Mark Fire Strike benchmarks as well. And it seemed to hold up really well. It kept the temperatures, like I said, around the 70 under load, and it adjusted the fans accordingly. And it, it really seemed to be on point. I'm really impressed with this. It is definitely a vast improvement. Now, if you've already got the ACX, you might be thinking, well, I've already got a Ford Win. Why do I really need the Ford Win 2? You know, and it's definitely worth upgrading just for that cooling performance, everything else. You know, this is a top card with massive, massive improvements. 
Okay guys, that's it for today. The next graphics card that I'm gonna be reviewing will be the 1080 Ti for the win free. So as soon as that's available, we're gonna get it shipped in. We're gonna take a look at that. We're gonna do a bit of a comparison between the two. I know that the, the new Ti series, they're absolute beasts. So I can't wait to see what they've produced there. Uh, if you haven't smashed that subscribe button already, do so now. All the links for the, uh, the products are also in the descriptions below. And I will see you guys next time. The next graphics card I'm going to be reviewing. 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 I'm going to be reviewing.